Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sugar and Sprinkle. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bread called squash bread. And this is um, Filipino type bread that we can we usually can buy in our local bakery in the Philippines. But this bread doesn't have squash to it. That's why it's called squash bread because of the shape. So for the ingredients, we're going to need bread flour you can use all-purpose flour if you, but I prefer to use um, bread flour and you're gonna need milk and eggs sugar yeast dough conditioner and a salt and some melted butter so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna bloom our yeast we're going to sprinkle a tablespoon of granulated sugar into the warm milk. And with a wire whisk, uh, whisk it in or stir it in. And then you're going to sprinkle then the yeast. You can use instant yeast or you can use an active dry yeast, whatever you have available. That's also fine. And then we're going to set this aside. So now we're going to combine our dry ingredients. So into the bread flour, you're going to add in your granulated sugar, the dough conditioner, and the salt. And with a spatula, just um, stir it in until all combined. So for the dough, I'm going to have my bread machine knead my dough. I mean, you can use your hand as well or your KitchenAid stand mixer if you have one. So first, you're going to pour in your yeast mixture, milk and yeast mixture, and then you're going to add in the melted butter. Then add in your flour. And if you want the recipe in this video, there will be a link in the description box below for the exact measurement. And then you, lastly, you're going to add in the two eggs. So I'm going to put this bucket back into my bread machine and I'm going to let my bread machine knead the dough until it becomes smooth and elastic. So in another bowl, add in a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And with a pastry brush, just brush the bowl with vegetable oil. This will this will prevent our dough from drying out. So we're going to transfer our dough into this bowl that we grease with vegetable oil. And make sure your dough is fully coated with vegetable oil. And then we're going to cover this and put it aside somewhere warm for, and let it rise for two hours. So while our dough is um, rising, we're going to combine the flour and the granulated sugar together. This is going to be for the filling of our squash bread. So once the granulated sugar and the flour are well combined you're gonna add in the softened butter again if you want the recipe on this video the link will be in the description box below for all the exact measurement so using a hand just um, mix it until this mixture form into a wet sand like this one this is now ready so we're going to put this aside. 
So are those now ready to roll? This dough has been sitting for two hours and as you can see, it has risen really well. So just push it down, deflating it to get rid of air, some air pockets. And then with a dough cutter, dividing your dough, I weigh mine 50 ounces each. So now we're going to shape our dough. So take a small rolling pin and then flatten it out. And take a tablespoon of the filling that we made earlier and then put it in the middle. Then take both ends and press it to seal it. And with a scissor, just make four cut first. And then made another cut in the middle. There you have it. And I'm going to show you one more time. So take a small rolling pin, flatten it out. Take a tablespoon of the filling and put it in the middle. Take both ends and pinch it. And then gather all the ends and then pinch to seal it and take a scissor and then make four cut first that's one that's two three and then four and then make another cut in the middle so it's a total of eight cut that we made and you're gonna do this to all the dough and we're gonna cover this and let it rise again for another an hour So after one hour, our dough is now ready to bake. But before baking it, um, you're going to brush it with an egg wash. It's just one egg diluted in one tablespoon of milk. And then we're going to bake this 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 18 minutes until the top is golden brown. So our squash bread is now done. As you can see, the egg wash really helped a lot to make the nice golden brown finish. And this is what it looks like. And thank you very much for watching.